Oh boy, is this great! Donald Trump just had a public freak out as Kamala Harris keeps pushing his buttons and keeps getting under his artificially enhanced skin. And as you're about to see, he says he's getting pretty angry about it. Now, when you see this very revealing video, it's coming up in just a second, think about this. If you're Trump, uh, this is it, right? The clock is ticking, momentum has passed you by, your game plan is a disaster, your VP pick is a joke in a blonde wig, and the world is watching as the woman whose name you can't say correctly out of childish spite is kicking your bloated sack of protoplasm all over social media. So, what's your next move? Well, first, you strategically or desperately reach back in time and dredge up your tired old soldado, Corey Womp Womp Lewandowski, a man who never met a Merlot he didn't like. Uh, the whistleblower is a former CIA agent mm -hmm. who is detailed to the NSC, mm -hmm. who's probably back at the CIA, who hates this president more than they love their country. And the fact is, they Corey? never had any firsthand account of what transpired. Corey? Yes. Did you have a little Merlot with dinner? No, should I have? So let's watch Donald double down on how terribly victimized he is, how energized he is now that he's trotting out a new team of old yes men, and how valiantly he's suffering all of this abuse just because all he wants to do is have nice things for this country. But mostly, watch the man, even Corey, please unhand my wife, Lewandowski, pegged dead wrong after his recent life-changing moment. I absolutely think he has been changed. I don't think anybody who's gone through a trauma like that can't be changed. No, Donald is still the same old mean-spirited hair puller he's always been. So, as new personal envoy Corey Lewandowski would say, let's let Trump be Trump and roll him. Many of your allies who want you to win in November say your current strategy isn't working, that you need to stop with the personal attacks on Kamala Harris and deliver a more disciplined message. Do you agree? And also, you added more people to your campaign today. Yeah. Is that a sign of a shifting strategy? No, I think it's a sign of we want to close it out. We had, we have great people. Susie is fantastic, as you know, and Chris is fantastic. They're leading it. Uh, Corey Lewandowski is coming in. Uh, he'll be, you know, uh, personal envoy or he'll be at some at some level uh, they're going to be you know they're they're doing a great job look we've taken with all of the abuse we've taken from the fake news media all of this horrific abuse we take and all i want to do is make the country good all i want to do is have strong borders and good education we want to have choice for education so put so many different things you would think it would be the other way we rebuilt the military we did so many great things but that's the way it's been for Republicans, and I guess more so for me than anybody in history, and that's okay, because we're leading in the polls. For the most part, we're leading in the polls. We were leading Biden by a lot. We're leading now, but I think when she's exposed, I think we're going to beat her by a lot more than we would have beaten Biden by, because he had a little group of people that have been voting for him for a long time. She doesn't have that. People don't know who she is. Uh, as far as the personal attacks, her because of what she's done to the country. I'm very angry at her that she'd weaponized the justice system against me and other people. Very angry at her. Uh, I think I'm entitled to personal attacks. I don't have a lot of respect for her. I don't have a lot of respect for her intelligence. And I think she'll be a terrible president. And I think it's very important that we win. And whether the personal attacks are good, bad, I mean, she certainly attacks me personally. She actually called me weird. He's weird. Quick fact check. She did not weaponize the justice system against you. And you do think you are entitled to everything. Well, now you and your pal JD, well, you're almost certain to be in the next publishing of Webster's Dictionary right between the entries weird and weirdly.